global warming, climate change, and the devastating loss of biodiversity are the greatest, greatest threats humanity, humanity has ever faced. We are in the midst of an ecological crisis. The fact is that we are all responsible. And it really doesn't matter how we apportion blame. The problems surrounding conservation seem overwhelming. One of the most basic problems is people. You inevitably come up against human nature, obstinacy, and prejudice. We are told that nature must be subdued and humbled, put in her place and abused. Without ever stopping to consider, you can never have something for nothing. The word ecology implies the relationship of an organism to its environment. And we are just as much an organism as any other animal that is unfortunate enough to share this earth with us. The natural world has bounds of balance, order and harmony that set the limits to our ambitions. When we exceed those limits, we will always end up sooner or later paying a heavy price. We have made painful discoveries about where those limits are. All of our actions have consequences. In damaging our climate, we become the architects of our own destruction. While the planet can handle the scorching of the earth and the rising of the waters, the human race cannot. We must forget the kind of short-term assumptions which dominate our day-to-day -day thinking. Is it actually impossible to look 30 or 40 or even 100 years ahead. We know exactly what needs to be done. We have the knowledge, the tools, tools and, and the, the money. money. We lack only the will. Just as mankind, mankind had the power, power to push the world, world to the brink, brink, so too do we have the power to, to bring, bring it back, back into balance. balance. As our planet's life support system begins to fail, and our very survival as a species is brought into question. Remember that our children and grandchildren will ask not what our generation said, but what it did. Let us give an answer then. Of which we can be proud. There is real hope, but we've just got to get our act together. And we've got to remember that the natural world is, is, is what sustains us.